हाय एवरीबॉडी दिस इज डॉक्टर अश्विनी फ्रॉम क्लीनिक एक्सपर्ट सर्विसेज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वी आर अ लीडिंग रेगुलेटरी सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इन इंडिया एंड वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग कंसल्टेंसी सर्विसेज पर्टेनिंग टू कॉस्मेटिक रजिस्ट्रेशन सिंस द टाइम द रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ कॉस्मेटिक बिकेम मैंडेटरी बाय इंडियन गवर्नमेंट वी हैव सक्सेसफुली ऑप्टेंड हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी कॉस्मेटिक रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑलरेडी सो इन दिस सेशन we are going to discuss cosmetic registration process in india before we actually move and discuss the cosmetic registration process i'll begin our discussion with the definition of cosmetic as per drug and cosmetic act 1940 cosmetic is defined as <coughs> any article intended to be rubbed poured sprinkled or sprayed on or introduced into or otherwise applied to the human body or any part thereof for cleansing beautifying promoting attractiveness or altering the appearance and includes any article intended for use as a component of cosmetic in this slide i'll just give you a brief overview of history of indian drug and cosmetic leg legislation the drug and cosmetic act 1940 is an act of parliament of india which regulates import manufacturing and distribution of drug and cosmetic in india the rules of this act were passed by indian parliament in 1945 and has undergone several amendments since then the primary objective of this act is to ensure that the drugs and cosmetics sold in india are safe effective and conform to the quality standards <clears throat> in india the cosmetics registration are regulated by central drug standard control organization which is also known as cdsco the drug controller general of india the dcgi is the head of cdsco who regulates all the activities in india now just a brief overview of evolution of indian drug and cosmetic legislation prior to 2010 the importers in india were freely importing the cosmetic in india and it was not regulated from cdsco then in 2010 there was need felt to regulate cosmetic importation in india on may 19 2010 the government <coughs> of india issued a gazette notification dated 19th may 2010 for amending the drug and cosmetic rule 1945 providing a provision for registration of cosmetic into the country before import <coughs> when gazette came it remained in suspended state till march 2013 when the government finally decided on 1st april 2013 to implement the cosmetic registration with immediate effect notification in the notification issued on may 19 2010 by the department of health under ministry of health and family welfare the drug and cosmetic rule 1945 were amended as rules were now called as drug and cosmetic rules 2010 which came into force from 1st april 2011 and finally were effective from april 1 2013 the heading import of cosmetics in part 13 were now called as import and registration of cosmetic <clears throat> in the rules for rule 129 following rules were substituted the rule 129 now stated registration of cosmetic products imported into the country the rule 129a states the form and manner of application for registration certificate the rule 129b states registration certificate for the import of cosmetic manufactured by one manufacturer 
the rule 129c states grant of registration certificate whereas rule 129d states duration of registration certificate validity the validity of registration certificate is for a period of 3 years from the dates of is issue provided that if application for a fresh registration certificate is made within 6 month before the expiry of the said certificate the existing registration certificate shall be deemed to continue to remain in force until orders are passed on the applications rule 129e states suspension and cancellation of registration certificate rule 129f states prohibition of import of certain cosmetics rule 129g is for a standard for imported cosmetics rule 129h is for labeling and packing of cosmetics prior to march 31 2013 no registration of the cosmetic product was required for a product for a cosmetic product to import in india registration became mandatory from april 1 2013 for all the cosmetic cosmetics imported in the country as defined under rule 21 of drug and cosmetic rules 1945 after amendment all cosmetic products that are imported for sale in india need to be registered with the licensing authority <coughs> This is the hierarchy and designation at cosmetic division at CDSO. CDSO is the regulatory body who award registration certificates to importer and as you can see in the hierarchy the assistant drug inspectors and technical data associates these are the two designation who are the initial reviewer of the applications after reviewing the application they forward their comment to drug inspectors drug inspectors then coordinate with assistant drug controller assistant drug controller then coordinate with deputy drug controller deputy drug controller then coordinate with joint drug controller and finally the cosmetic registration certificate is either signed by drug controller general of india or joint drug controller now if you ask me a question who can apply for registration of import of cosmetics the answer is the manufacturer himself having registered office in india the authorized agent of the manufacturer the subsidiary of the manufacturer or any other importer these people can apply under the drug and cosmetic rules 1945 coming to guidelines on registration of import of cosmetic understanding various terminology and definitions are mandatory we, before we actually understand the guidelines on cosmetic registration who is a manufacturer <clears throat> a manufacturer is a brand or trade name owner he or she not might be the actual manufacturer of cosmetic product hence if somebody is owning the trade name or brand name of cosmetic and he is getting his product or she is getting her product manufactured by any other actual manufacturer he or she can be designated as a manufacturer as per indian law what is a brand brand is a category class of product as opposed to being just a trade name or brand name for example the brand will include all brands of lipstick imported by the applicant and not just a particular brand name of lipstick for example shampoo and conditioner belong to different classes even though these may have a common brand name a single applications may be made for registration of more than one brand of cosmetic including its different variants and pack size by the same manufacturer what is an authorized agent 
an authorized agent means a person or entity in india authorized by the manufacturer the authorized agent will be responsible for the business activity of the manufacturer in india including compliance to the provision of drug and cosmetic act in all respects what is subsidiary subsidiary means an entity in india owned by the manufacturer and what is any other importer any other importer means any person or entity purporting to import cosmetic products other than the manufacturer its authorized agent and its subsidiary coming to registration guidelines <coughs> The application for cosmetic registration is drafted in form 42 with required documents. Uh, we will discuss the required documents later on when as we uh, move down to our slides. These application in form 42 along with the required documents are submitted to DCGI that is CDSO in New Delhi. The application is to be submitted along with a fee of 250 USD. for each category of product along with undertaking in schedule d3 a single registration certificate in form 43 is issued to a particular applic applicant in respect of import of any number of brands manufactured at one or more locations by a single manufacturer over here comes a question that a single application can accommodate how many brands the answer is single application in form 42 can accommodate any number of brands manufactured at one or more locations by a single manufacturer however if there are two manufacturer then you need to file a separate applications for each <laughs> two application fundamentals for each application a fee of to usd 250 or its equivalent inr for each brand will be charged as a government fee for each category of cosmetics mentioned in column 3 in annexure of these guidelines and it can be categorized in one applications if the applicant seeks to import the same brand belonging to different legal manufacturer he needs to submit separate application for each manufacturer and has to pay separate fee thereof now in any existing valid registration certificate if the applicant wants to add any further brand or product of already registered category as mentioned in column 3 of the annexure for the same manufacturer a separate application <coughs> will need to be submitted by the importer which we call as a endorsement here in india but no fee will be charged in such cases additional product permission will be endorsed to the already approved category in a given registration certificate and the validity of registration certificate will remain same <clears throat> while filing application one of the most important documents that has to be co uh, conjointly provided by manufacturer and importer is power of attorney the authorization by a manufacturer to his authorized agent in india will be documented by a power of attorney the power of attorney shall be executed and authenticated either in india before first class magistrate or in the country of origin of the manufacturer before such an equivalent authority or attested by the indian embassy of the said country or apostilled from hage convention member country is also acceptable the original of the same will be furnished along with the application for registration certificate <coughs> there are few few important points <coughs> which we should consider while submitting the power of attorney it should be co jointly signed and stamped by the manufacturer as well as the authorized agent indicating the name and designation of authorized signatory it should clearly list the name of all cosmetic products along with their trade name brand names as per column 2 of the annexure and variants such as colors shade packs etc 
Further, the name of the cosmetic should correlate with those mentioned in Form 42 as well as Schedule D3. The name and address of the manufacturer as well as the authorized agent stated in power of attorney should correlate with the Form 42. And in the power of attorney, one of the other important point is that the power of attorney is also valid for the period of state registration certificate that is three years. Now coming to cases of variation where there uh, could be some uh, specific cases. Uh, after grant of registration certificate, in case of any change in product specification, ingredients, variants, etc., the applicant will inform about those changes to the licensing authority by submitting revised schedule D3 at least 30 days before the date of import. There are a specific labeling and packaging guidelines laid by the Indian government for cosmetic product. Uh, I'll uh, highlight few of those important points. <coughs> the label of imported cosmetic will bear the registration certificate number of the brand and name and address of the registration certificate holder. <coughs> Stickering of labels containing the registration certificate number of the brand and the name and address of the registration certificate holder may be allowed to be carried out after import at a suitable declared place approved by licensing authority or an, or an application made to licensing authority. <coughs> the label should also bear the name and address of the manufacturer and name of the country where the product has been manufactured. If the product has not been manufactured in a factory owned by the manufacturer, the name and address of the actual manufacturer or name of the country where it has actually been manufactured should definitely be there on the label. <coughs> All the application uh, submitted by the applicant, in fact, all the documents submitted by the applicant has should be in the English version and any other foreign language are not uh, entertain and or it should be translated in English from a qualified translator. In case where there is no provision for license to manufacture cosmetic in country of origin, the importer has to provide a declaration on affidavit to that effect. Cosmetic registration is certificate is not required in few cases of import, such as for import of cosmetic for research and development purposes like packaging trials, consumer studies, self life studies, and transport studies. Cosmetic product imported to India is bulk for repackaging for 100% export to other country. These two cases will not require registration certificate. <laughs> Once you file the application at CDSCO, then it takes approximately three months to obtain cosmetic registration certificate. The timelines also depends whether you have submitted a right set of documents or there were any query raised by the regulators. If there are any queries raised by the regulators, then timelines can further exceed to four to six months. However, if you have submitted a true applications, then you should opt uh, then there are chances that you will obtain cosmetic registration in approximately three months. The cosmetic registration cert certificate is valid for three years from the date of issuance. As you can see here, uh, the CDSCO, the Central Drug Standard Control Organization, headed by Drug Control General of India, has publish a pre-screening checklist on the website which gives a list of documents required to be submitted for registration. So these are the list of documents which are required 
for cosmetic registration i just uh, go through one by one in my subsequent slides but i'll just read out the entire documents once covering letter application in form 42 tr6 chalan in original power of attorney in original schedule d3 labels list of ingredients composition regulatory certificates chemical information of cosmetic package insert soft copies sample pack of product list of countries where marketing authorization or import permission granted and few undertakings first we will discuss the cover letter in the covering letter the purpose should be clearly mentioned with page number and index and the covering letter should be in, uh, addressed to drug controller general of india new delhi the other documents as per our checklist is form 42 the form 42 should contain following information it should be properly filled signed and stamped by the indian agent or importer the name of cosmetic product its variants along with the actual manufacturer of the product to be registered the categorization of the product should be as per column 3 in annex of guidelines on registration it should have name and full address of authorized agent importer in india and also the name and full address of manufacturer and its factory premises uh, i would like to highlight one point uh, that <coughs> this form 42 the information which we are sharing in form 42 or capturing in form 42 power of attorney and schedule d3 it should exactly correlate in all aspects of the application like name of the manufacturer the address of the manufacturer then name of the indian agent then categorization of cosmetic it should be almost like a replica all these information should be similar otherwise we have seen that in the past 30 to 40% of the queries comes on these simple things <clears throat> the government fees are paid by tr6 chalans which are uh, in this uh, cosmetic for cosmetic applications the charges are the charge 250 uh, usd equivalent to indian rupees for each brand proposed and for each category of cosmetic ad mentioned in column 3 of the guidelines of cosmetics the tr6 chalan number date of chalan and realization stamp is required for filing of the application kindly note that the categories of applied products and manufacturer name shall be mentioned in the tr6 chalan we have already discussed power of attorney in detail in my previous slide i'll highlight few of the important points here while executing power of attorney we have to ensure that all the pages of power of attorney including product list is duly apostilled notarized and authenticated from country of origin and it should be tamper proof seal also the time period for which po is valid must be mentioned in power of attorney which is 3 years two of the important documents uh, which now i am going to discuss are schedule d3 and label schedule d3 is a is a common format uh, it's uh, already given by indian government all the informations which are required in schedule d3 has to be filled by manufacturer and these documents should be printed either on manufacturer letter head or authorized agent in india they can also take the print out on their letter head these documents if can be either by signed by manufacturer himself or it can be signed by authorized agent or importer in india <coughs> 
level i have already discussed in detail earlier i'll just go through the brief requirement here the label should contain following informations name of cosmetics name of manufacturer and complete address of premises where the cosmetic is manufactured use before date direction for safe use any caution batch number registration number importer name and address list of ingredients you must be wondering if uh, since you don't have a registration number how can you put registration number but when you are submitting the label we are submitting a proposed label where we have to keep a provision of registration number after that we can keep it blank once we receive the registration certificate the same number can be captured during the import list of ingredient should include details of concentration of each ingredient used in the product composition and it should be duly signed by the competent qc person from the manufacturer few of the regulatory certificates are also required out of these certificates the original free sale certificate issued by national regulatory authority in country of origin for the applied product is must you can also supplement the other certificates like copy of manufacturing licenses registration marketing authorization in respect of applied product issued by regulatory authority from country of origin in case if the certificates are not issued by national regulatory authority from country of origin then it should be from other competent association organization duly authenticated from the indian embassy of country of origin for chemical information of cosmetic we should supplement we should include following documents method of analysis or testing protocol for testing of cosmetic bis specification as per the indian regulation the certificate of analysis or test reports should definitely include the label of lead arsenic and mercury and other parameters like microbiological test wherever applicable all these documents should be signed by competent qc person from the manufacturer <coughs> package insert it all depends whether your you are have for that product if you don't have you cannot submit it is not a mandatory document all the information which we are submitting as a hard copies should be submitted in soft copy as well while submitting the documents soft copies of the information such as product name along with category pack size and actual manufacturing site should also be provided in compact disc there are few other documents which are required to be submitted <coughs> which i'll discuss in my next slide one of the important document is list of countries where market authorization or import permission or registration certificate is already granted should be submitted the another documents like undertakings that the product is not tested on animal should be provided along with our application <coughs> and once we have been once the cosmetic registration certificate is awarded to importer indian government would request importer to submit one sample pack of product at cdsco <clears throat> i hope uh, i was able to clear 
I was able to explain the cosmetic registration process in India. If you have any queries, you can contact me at akumar at cleaningexpert.com. We would be happy to assist you for any queries. Thank you very much for your patience and time.